It's a really exciting day. Four new elements have been named on the same day. I think the first time in the history of the periodic table it's happened. One of the elements was created in Japan and has a Japanese name, so it's a great excuse to wear my periodic table happy. This is made by one of our fans in Japan. And if you look, it has the space to put the names, the new symbols of the four elements. And as well, today happens to be the eighth birthday of periodic videos. Eight years since we shot the first video. Welcome to our periodic table videos. This is an experiment for me, just as much as it will be for you when you're watching. And I just wanted to begin by showing you a bit my office and explaining what the periodic table means to chemists like me. So now for the names. The first element, number 113, over here, was discovered for, or first synthesized in Japan, has been called Nihonium, with the symbol NH, in honor of Japan. The second element, number 115, is Moscovium, named after Moscow, the capital of Russia, which is not far from Dubna, where the element was synthesized, 115. And the symbol is MC, which might actually appeal to our viewers in Scotland, because as you know, many surnames in Scotland begin MC. So it's a sort of Russian-Scottish element. The third element, number 117, is one of the halogens. Now you know the halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, astatine, all end in ene, I-N-E. So element 117 has been named Tennessee after the American state Tennessee, where many of the elements were discovered at Oak Ridge, the National Laboratory. I'm not sure whether it's intended to be pronounced Tennessee or Tennessine. I prefer Tennessee. The last element, 118, is one of the noble gases. Now, all the noble gases, apart from helium, end in O-N, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. And this one has been called organesson. Now, that's quite a strange name, and you might be a bit surprised. Let me tell you, the symbol is O-G. It's named after academician Yuri Aganisyan, who is an Armenian, working in Russia and is director of the institute where many of these elements were discovered. Is he alive? He's alive, which makes him only the second person in the history of the periodic table to have an element named after them while they're still alive. The other one was named after Seaborg, Seaborgium. Though there is a rumour that Einstein may have known about Einsteinium before the name was made public. But he was dead when it went public. These names are provisional, as are the symbols, and there are six months for people to comment or object. And in some cases, like the element Copernicium, the symbol was changed from CP to CN. So it's possible that some of these may change. I suspect that nobody is going to object to them, but we'll have to see. What do you think of the four names? I think they're all great. I think the um, Ogoneson is perhaps slightly hard for some people to pronounce, but it's quite fun. Now, of course, some people think the periodic table is complete, but if you look at the sleeve of my Japanese um, happy, you can see that there are spaces for element 119, 120. Keep watching periodic videos, and I hope quite soon there might be some other new elements so we can continue completing my sleeve. Professor, does that mean if we react Moscovian with oxygen, we'll have muck oxygen? <laughs> um, 